it, and I got out my desk and my typewriter, set them up and run, front run, and we possessed ourselves to finish the meal. And uh, it took us, I'm not sure how long, but we worked from that first idea, and we got the breakthrough with the chest burst. I said, what do you think? I said, well, you know, it depends on what you do with the second half. I said, yeah, and I don't know where to go with it. A little while later, Ron comes back into the front room, and he said, do you remember you told me about a script, an idea you had about um, monsters getting on a B-17 during World War II, gremlins? I said, oh, yeah. Basic idea there was that during a, a, a bomb raid, some gremlins jump off a cloud and get on the tail of a B-17. And then as it's on its way back to base, these little monsters start working their way forward through the plane toward the front, killing men as they go. And the trick is to try to barricade them back there until they can get back to base and land. And I, he said, yeah. And I said, I, well, his point was obvious. His point is, why don't you do that for the second half in the spaceship? I said, that is really a good idea. The rest of the structure wrote itself in just I remember it was three weeks, and we had the whole, just exactly as you see it, with one exception, the robot. We didn't have the robot idea. And that was later contributed by Geiler and Hill, either jointly or one of them. But that's the only thing that was, other than that, the script you saw, which we later wrote, based on that three-week outline, was almost exactly the movie you saw on the screen. Ronnie and I made the deal with a production, an independent production company called Brandywine Productions. It took a while. I mean, there were many rewrites and people, you know, the, I guess they said the robot had an idea emerged from them and we didn't know who the director was going to be. There were like 10 directors before Ridley Scott. And we were in little oh, offices in no, Ridley's no, no. place in Soho and uh, <clears throat> this script came in and as it was uh, science fiction with a title like Alien, I remember that the two of us wrestled with it. <clears throat> so that, no, you know, it was a sort of me first, me first thing. But anyway, Ridley won. So I had to sit for an hour and a half while uh, Ridley sat in the next room reading it, <clears throat> screaming out, oh my God, oh my God, as he came to certain bits in it.